It seems you like uh, the version uh, that I made uh, where I tested uh, the return to ho home under extreme conditions. And now we are back at this warehouse. We just had a very, very beautiful lecture for the Mini Drone Club around the thermal drones. And uh, of course, we want to finish this one off by testing uh, the LiDAR capabilities inside uh, this uh, warehouse just to see if it's possible to make it return to this location. So. Everything is up and running. I will start the drone now. And we can start by just going forward here. And then we will go down. And maybe we will fly on the side of these, if we are allowed to do that. We are not allowed to do that, so we go over this set of boxes. And then we're going down here very low to the ground. Maybe we will pass through here. Then we can fly this way. The problem is that uh, when I have bypass enabled, I can't go through narrow gaps. I tried that. I'll just replay a little bit of the footage from before. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Luckily, the drone survived. So we're taking it down a notch a little bit now. And uh, by the way, we are using uh, the Osmo Action 5 for this recording, together with the DJI Mic 2. And maybe if this looks nice, I will consider upgrading from the horrible Osmo Action 4 that I have to... Uh... So let's see what happens. So now we are almost back. Let's see what it decides to do when I press the return to home. So, it doesn't do any shortcuts. This is going to be cold. Nej, det gør jeg rent faktisk ikke, fordi jeg har en batteriopvarmende vest på fra Nordic Heat. Og til jer, så er Nordic Heat, de har været i markedet de sidste 12 år, så det er en virkelig lækker og gennemprøvet teknologi. Den kan holde mig varm og bevægelig, selv når det er koldt, som det er i dag. Så skal du ikke fryse næste gang, at du er ude at flyve, og det er hammerende koldt, så bør du måske tjekke produkterne fra Nordic Heat gennem linket i beskrivelsen herunder. Så. It's... Reversing the route. So now we're to the boxes. Above the boxes. And then i don't know. I think it's sh doing a shortcut. <laughs> but that's still fine. <laughs> so now it's going down to the table. And then it'll probably tell me that it's not a very good place to land. No, it's landing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. <laughs> then it's back safe on the ground. So, okay, guys, don't do this at home. This almost cost me uh, the, the Air 3S trying to go over this yeah, obstacle that was up there on, on uh, this part of uh, in the beginning. So I decided to redo the test uh, under less uh, severe conditions. And this was basically because it was set to bypass. Uh, so it will not allow me to go through this narrow gap without compensating and then it hit the beam up there somewhere so <laughs> luckily we have a drone that is still alive and um, this concluded this short return to home test flight with the, the air 3s i hope you liked this video if you did then feel free to give it a like if you didn't like it feel free to press the dislike button twice thank you for watching and i'll be seeing you on the next one